So the other day I got to thinking, what would our viewers want to see that they haven't seen that I thought was interesting here in Senegal before we go home? And I kind of was brainstorming and writing some ideas down and I thought, why don't we show our viewers like Ash's family businesses, like what they all do for a living? And um, I know here a lot of people would think, oh, that's not very interesting, but it's so much different than how we do stuff at home. So we decided to take a day and show you guys all of the occupations that Ashley's family does here. You guys will dig it, I promise you that. It's actually gonna be super interesting. Uh, we talked to them ahead of time and told them we were stopping in to uh, give us a tour of what they do for a living. Abriel had a meltdown this morning because he did not want to get dressed, he didn't want his lotion on, and he didn't want his hair done. My name's not Abriel. Pick and choose your battles. So he's in the same outfit from yesterday, but we are ready to go. We have a fun day for you guys. Abriel, outfit check. What are you wearing? The same outfit from yesterday. Nike. First stop is my aunt's flower shop. I thought we were gonna have to pay for this taxi. Uh, we don't have to, we just made our money back. We found this in the back seat. And this is, oh it's Fenty. Oh, it's got hair on it. Ooh. Fenty Rihanna. Yeah. See, I know my beauty products. Gabriel is never going to want to go back in the car seat ever again. Do you? Are you grumpy today? Yeah. Are you tired? Yeah, did mommy make you get up at 1045? So we just got to Aunt Nawal's flower shop and we are standing outside here. Abriel's inside with uh, Papa Mo and uh, the guy accidentally just ran his moped into the side of the uh, building. But um, there is a beautiful oil can here I'm about to move. Aunt Nawal actually um, owned this about 35 years ago roughly and she started importing flowers from France. After her friend came to visit her, from Kenya and she brought her the most beautiful roses she had ever seen. She said, you know what? I didn't even know Kenya had roses. And so then they started importing them from Kenya and they are some of the most beautiful roses from some of the best people over there. And the reason they have to import them here is because they can't actually grow roses here. They do some of the most beautiful floral work I've ever seen. We'll post some pictures. My cousin just got married and all the flowers were from my aunt and her business. So we're excited to show you the little shop they make it in and also the final product. I know it's past visiting hours, but will you please show us these flowers? <laughs> Let's go inside. It's Kanye. You can smell the roses. Wake up and smell the roses. That's what we decided to do. I'm gonna show you. Just the, the rose. Just the rose. Not me. Not you. <laughs> you are as pretty as a rose though. Steven. <laughs> <laughs> it is beautiful. So yeah, that's how they come. And most of the, all of the work is done here, but then they don't really like sell a ton of flowers in here. Yeah. Smell it. And what Abriel is smelling here is actually called White Peak. And uh, they actually get these roses from Aldrich and Isabel Spindler, who are the managers out at um, a rose shop in Kenya called Redland Rose. The quality is amazing. They are beautiful roses. And they smell delicious, don't they? Yeah. The name of the shop is Floreal. And I let you say that because I know that we will slaughter. I know you will. Floreal. And uh, this isn't like a typical flowerama um, like we have back in the States. Uh, we just get to walk inside and buy flowers for Ashley and leave like I do on the daily. Yeah, right. Um, this is actually one that you would call like for certain events like weddings, funerals, stuff like that. They make specific um, flower arrangements for specific events. Yeah. Right? So they yeah. make all the arrangements here and then they take them to all the events. Yes. Right. You love flowers? Yeah. I love flowers. Should we get mommy some flowers? Yeah. These are the wreaths before they put all the flowers on them. Yeah, so I'll make this into something so beautiful. <laughs> Meet my aunt's amazing team that is behind all the masterpieces of all her floral creations. I'm gonna post some pictures so you can see some of the awesome work that they do. 
But y'all, they are simply amazing. So we just finished out my aunt's flower shop and now we're going to uh, the Lael, which is my other aunt's and cousin's uh, restaurant, so. And it's called La Lael, but you pronounce it um, in English, I'll translate, the Lael. <laughs> You're welcome. And we're walking there. There's my dad. Our tour guide. Our, yeah, our tour guide. Dad, do you even know where we're going? Of course not. Or are we lost? Nope. When you stop, when you stop and look around, yeah. I know where we're going. Let's go. Okay, don't get hit by a car. It's very easy to do here. Okay, let's cross here. <laughs> I don't think you really have any clue how to get there. I'm the your I'm your GPS here. By the way, go ahead and tell everyone about your dad. He grew up here. And moved to the States and when he was 18? Dad, when did you move? Oh, my father? No, when, when, when did, did you, you move, move to, the to the U.S.? Oh, when I was uh, maybe... I don't remember. <laughs> uh, 24? 24, so about 108 years ago. <laughs> yeah. No, That's not bad. 105. See, here's the center. This is the center. And tell the... them why there's not a lot of traffic today. Yeah, because a big, big holiday, Muslim holiday, the biggest one taking place tomorrow so they start celebrating today and it's called tabaski tabaski yes and there are sheep and goats all over the place tied up getting ready to be slaughtered oh my god they slaughter uh, sheep i know <laughs> in uh actually in offering to all offer to eat the it gods. but they do eat it though they don't just they like do kill it, it just yeah. to kill it <laughs> Say no, what you just said. No, the pedestrian crossing, if they hit you. <laughs> if they hit uh, you at the pedestrian crossing. Yeah, then, then they're wrong. I was like, oh, then they'll go to print. And I was like, no, no then, then they're, they're wrong. wrong but if all. they hit you outside the pedestrian crossing, then you're in the wrong. <laughs> that's the Senegalese flag. The colors of Senegalese flag. Hey, Bill, you want to throw some change in the water? Hang on. Oh, we made it. My dad did know where he was going. I'm a little surprised. Yeah. Yeah. boo. We're sitting down to have a drink because after the walk and us almost getting lost, we're parched. Abriel, can you say parched? Parched. Okay, so I ordered some hummus and pita because it's the best here. Um, but this is from the bakery that my uh, aunt and cousin also own and run. And I have the coolest video to show you of how this is made. So stay tuned because it's pretty amazing. What you were doing? Yeah. Are you eating it? Yeah, me. You gotta actually eat it, you weirdo. Yeah. Back in 2004, Laleo was created by Wasam, Ashley's cousin, and Aunt Rhubarb. The shawarma was their number one reason they created it. Now they have all sorts of, I don't know, different sandwiches and everything that they make. But it's all very average price, uh, about $4 to $7 so that people on their lunch breaks can come in. Um, they're busy between noon and 3 every day. And each day they deliver about 1,200 shawarma. That's not a lot. They do not come to the layout without getting their hummus. Hummus. Do you want some? How are you? <laughs> Ow, you bit my finger. 
Ouch, Charlie bit me. Let's check out how they make this shawarma. Oh, it's so warm. Where they make the pizza in the fire oven. Wow. So much going on back here. It's on the, what? <laughs> they are coming from here. Oh, okay, okay, they bring all the little guys. Right. Okay. Yes, they are so, coming from here. Come, come, I should show you. The guys are here. All the guys are here. Okay. Hello. Okay. Earlier when I said, uh, <laughs> this is the delivery. Wally. You do all the hard work. Yes, this is yes. Hello. Hey, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm fine. I'm good. All the delivery are here. That would be okay. 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 So earlier when I said that they have, uh, that they sell about 1,200 sandwiches a day, they come through this back door, go down the hall, and they pick up their delivery and take it out. They take the delivery from here. They take it from here and they go direct. And they go there. Yeah. It's, good. Yeah, it's, it's easy. easy. It's good, no? You don't have to even pass to the restaurant. They don't they, eat they that? Don't pass from the restaurant. Exactly. Because there's cool. many people in the restaurant. Yes, you don't want to yes. run into each other and. That's smart. It's huh? quick. I like that. You're the uh, best delivery. Yeah, the ugly, the ugly one, yes. <laughs> <laughs> huh? the beautiful. I'm the king of the delivery. The king of the delivery. <laughs> <laughs> wow. See? And it tastes so good. It just cooks the outer layer. And as it cooks, you keep cutting. Good. Then you make it into the sandwich. Okay, cool bread. One the shawarma they just made back there. It's got the fries and everything. Killer. I, I'm acting like this is the first time I've had it. I have it like every time I come. It's like my favorite. Mmm. Heaven? 
So good. Save room, we still have to eat at the coffee lot. Once it hits the lips, it's so good. <laughs> One bite? Abe just wants to eat the fresh, <laughs> the fresh meat. 